It's become an even more popular place since Joel Brown came here 13 days ago for Black Panther Wakanda Forever. Look, movies clearly the main draw here. They have made upgrades to the theater, but they've also added other activities, all in an effort to draw more folks back inside. Thanksgiving, the unofficial kickoff to the movie holiday rush, and theaters thankful to see crowds making their returns. We're looking forward to a great end of the year. Data from Box Office Mojo shows total gross sales this year approaching $6.6 .6 billion, nearly 50% higher than last year, though still about $5 billion short of 2019. COVID led to not only closures of theaters, but halted productions. So far, there have been just 442 releases. In 2019, there were 993, the average release gross at its highest mark since 2010. I mean, we used to be big moviegoers before the pandemic. It's so like now be able to just come back buy a ticket in theater compared to having to buy a ticket online weeks ahead. It feels good just to be able to walk in. And tickets here starting at just $6, well below national averages, an acknowledgement of price sensitivity in the midst of high inflation. We are definitely trying to get people in here, have a good time, see the movie. That's also meant focusing on an upgraded experience, new zero gravity seats, plus the ability to order food directly to your chair. But even at this theater, movies just part of the offerings. There's more than one option to come when you come here. It's not just a movie theater, you can also bowl. Paragon also has a full restaurant and bar, as well as virtual mini golf. Activities meant to cater to varied audiences and keep them on site. Like your favorite four, you might have to go here, go to another separate restaurant, or like go to another bar. So it just makes it more convenient. Everything in the same spot. Like that. It's also an attempt to combat the comfortability of home, where a growing number of streaming services have taken both market share and at times new releases. Definitely think this is going to be the trend moving forward. I don't ever see myself going to a regular movie theater. Um, Drive-ins are still cool, but this is definitely where it's at. Whether theaters can fully regain the foothold they once had remains to be seen. Though studios' willingness to back blockbusters, combined with improved COVID metrics and greater comfortability in venturing out, offering a path to a Hollywood ending. Paragon sharing their pre-show and day of ticket sales have been steadily increasing over the past several months. They're keeping that movie theme. Uh, Penny Lane is the name of the theater, of course, named after the character from Almost Famous. Almost Famous is how my wife describes me when friends ask, do I get recognized in Raleigh? But I'm in Cary right now. I'm Michael Perchick. Happy Thanksgiving. Joel, Amber, back to you.